we're ready for another unboxing. Um, drawer number five is for sure. Okay, hold on, hold on. But we then have a four-way tie. So you will need to pick three. You can pick uh, 20, 9, 15, 3, or 16. But we should probably pull drawer number five to begin with, huh? Now, you need to pick of these numbers. Do you want to do 20, 9, 16, 15, or 3? Which one's next? 20. 20, okay. 9, 16. There's 20. That one's stuck a little. Nine. And you said sixteen? Yeah. Oh, that'll be it. Don't, don't be opening it anymore. Not ahead of, uh, of our inspection. I was just trying to find another one that is, um, uh, has nothing in it. Okay. So I can mark that one. Where are we at? Right here? Okay. So. What was this? Six times. Sixteen. There's only two things in 16. There is a rather substantial roll. And a of corundum 400 metal cloth. And then a metal ruler. Yay. That's always fun. Uh, what do we got here? A brass folding ruler, two feet. Lufkin, number 1085. That actually could be really cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's pretty hammered. You see, it used to click open right here. Click. But this joint is too floppy now. And this latch point has kind of been hammered. I don't feel any slop at the joint there. It's kind of a cool one. Solid brass. Can we set that aside? Nah. Nah, it's not worth setting aside or anything, but it's still cool. Maybe we shouldn't have vacuumed it. This is just a piece of melted something. All right, now that works again. I like that, because look at that blob. Yeah? Yeah. Look at that blob. You can see in the shiny spots where it's definitely rubbing. Sixteen. You want to mark it off our list? Yeah. Um, can I get the drawer out? The next drawer? Uh, I don't know where the pencil is. <laughs> Sixteen's done. Three is stuck in there. So, yeah. Number nine. There's some screwdrivers, which I think that's weird. He's broken. 
No, I think that's made out of. Dad, what do you think that's made out of? Because I think that's uh, pottery. That is like, remember what? And instead of like pure glass. And... Uh, Bakelite. That is Bakelite plastic. Straight blade. Straight blade. Oh! Look at that one. That one's part of a set. I wonder if there's any more of them in here. Now these are kind of cool. That's unique. Look at that. It appears to be stuck in there. But that is an old interchangeable bit. Who made that? Apex. It's got a number three Phillips in it right now. Oh, look at these. Got a whole bunch of dental slash carving tools. These things are really super useful. You can get in there and, and get out burrs or gaskets. This one's got kind of a little pry bar edge. This is a tooth scraper. Here's an interchangeable thing for that one. There's another tooth. That one's old. Dang, I'd almost say that's silver plated, Shay. That's a real old dental tool right there. So a handful of dental tools, these plus the ones the kids are playing with. These things are cool. I wish it hadn't been reshaped so much. Not only has it been reshaped, the whole thing's twisted. And the handle is unfortunately loose on it. Not that we couldn't tighten the handle, but these things are always, I've always had a soft spot for these big old wood handle screwdrivers. You know, these were clearly part of a little set right here. They've had a hard life. That one's been beat on as a chisel more than once. Paint tools. There's a Phillips in there. That's another one of those, uh, whatever plastic thing things. Yeah. A bunch of clip-on ends for screwdrivers they don't have here. <laughs> a bunch of super cheap screwdrivers. It's all right. There is not enough old straight blade pry bars in the world. You can always use one of those. In fact, let's use one right now to open up this container, which says poison. Do not use as a food container. Soap, comma, saddle. Looks like some military specs on it. it is is still soft. Old military saddle soap? What in the heck would they use that for? It's still soft. I mean it hasn't gone bad. Whatever it is. That's almost a little frightening. You're saying that uh, that dental pick worked? screwdriver that has a wooden handle. Look how cute and tiny that is. Well, that's got a brand on it. Number one Phillips. Made in the USA. Alloy steel. I don't know who makes it. That is a mini. Look at that little tiny thing. That could be useful someday. Do we get everything back in? Yeah. Including the little tiny one? Uh, well, I put the little tiny one. In this. All right. And that was in. Oh, shoot. I forgot to grease it. We might be taking this whole thing back out again. 
Alright, so that was nine. What is this one? Number 20. 20. I got a whole mess. Grindstones. That one's scary. Look at that. It's come off. It's, it's no longer tight. Ooh, some rotary rasps. Right here. Solid, German made. That's a solid burr, but it's not carbide. It appears to be some high speed steel. Oh, that's a die grinder end. Don't think that's ever been chucked into anything. See, the problem with some of these is they're held in with glue and epoxy that's now older than either one of us and is a little frightening the idea of spinning them at high speeds. That one's probably still good though. See the shine in it? It's been used to do brass. So it's a little polished up. Wow! Somebody hammered on that bad boy. So we got a mess of these in here. Look at this. All sorts of different sizes. There's a replacement wheel. There's a sort of a grinding edge wheel. That's a fine stone. Okay, it's not a heating element because that's phenolic resin, which would burn. So it is some sort of spring resistor, best I can tell. I don't know what that's used for. It's a music maker now. Yeah, sure it is. Cable clamp, three eighths. That's useful. Cup wheel. Those are useful. We use those on the army truck all the time. A uh, 180 grit flapper wheel seen some stuff, got some life left. RPM 25M. I don't know what those are. There's one right there chucked in. It's not flat. Makes me a bit nervous, but who knows, could be useful in something a little slower. More Coastal grinding wheels, none of these got names on them. That's coastal again. And then this lumpy old bugger. With a steel or lead insert. With a lead insert in it. What? Why would it have a lead insert in it? I smell your thing. It might be getting hot over there. And a random screw. And a random screw. <laughs> This is 20 and it was good and stuck. Where's the resin? Hmm? Where's the resin? What do you mean the resin? The resin glue. In my pocket. You're not ready for resin glue yet. Uh, the grain is almost melted. Okay. So. We're still not ready for resin glue. Do we have a Kleenex? Mm -hmm. Paper towel. Alright, so that's 20. Where was 20? 20 was down here. Yeah. An old hand drill thingy, a 
bob. It's called a brace. Brace. Is this a hand drill? Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no bit in it, but that's the brace. Who made it? It's a Stanley handyman number M twenty five three. It's it's a it's a pretty standard square chuck brace. One of the other drawers that had um, bits in it. There were a bunch of bits for this. No, that won't work in it. Uh, well, I mean, it might work in it, but it probably won't work in it. Was that one of the ones that we crossed off? See, what makes these old Stanleys nice Dad, you can tell we is you can make them ratchet. Dad, That's... you can tell we've already did 21. Because look at that, the oil. Can you see? Yeah, that's a speed wrench, though. Uh, we done, yeah, we did both 21s. That's not that. We did 12. Not 12, we've done 22. Getting closer. We have not done three, we've done one. Not there. Wasn't in 16. Six. It's not in six. Uh, we've done four. It's not four. And 11. Did you hear that? I think there's a rat in there. We're going to have to go take care of that. No, no, no. Are we done for? Yeah. Okay. Um. Maybe we should crash the air three after all. Well, I don't want to open up drawers we haven't seen in. Couldn't we have bits in one of these? I thought we did. Oh well. We'll find them later. I don't want to open up any drawers we haven't gone into. Uh, I got a bunch of soft fuzzy welding rod. That's no good. Old swing line staples. Um, what do they call those? Uh, box staples, right? For when they join two pieces of wood together for making old shipping crates. None of that stuff's any good. All this right here is this is all junk. This can all go in that black garbage bag over there if you would. A little tiny nail says no good. <laughs> so I guess all we've got in there that's worth a poop is that Stanley drill. This thing. Made out of aluminum. Appears to be pipe thread inside. If I guess, I'd, I'd say it's probably some kind of oh support or umbrella stand using pipe. Well, that's it, Buster Bear. All right, this is what we got left to work with. We got 18, 3, 13, 19, 30. 8, 10, 23, 17, 2, 14, 20, 24, and 15. Those are your numbers. Pick your favorites, and uh, we'll keep exploring this old military cabinet set. Thanks for watching.